This is the UAP Season 73 Volleyball. Back here at the arena in San Juan for the second game of our doubleheader today, Sunday. We conclude volleyball games, weekend festivities in the UAP Women's Volleyball Tournament, 73rd season. UP taking the first set over uh, the number two ranked USD team. What happened? Uh, wow. You know, ang dami natin na pag-usapan ng set number one. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's know, right. Things that went Pati on. Pati tayo nilibang ng UP. <laughs> 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 they played possum the whole time. That's right. And all of a sudden, uh -huh. snatched the rug from under the feet of the defending champions. Exactly. And UP was, was, was down by probably one or two points, three points at the most going into uh, during that first set. And all of a sudden, when that scoreboard read in the 20s, yeah. they suddenly stepped on the gas and picked up the pace and closed out the set against USD. More but attacks. Look at attack points. 14 to 12, UP, of course, with the two-point edge on that department, even the blocking department. Wow. Ang UP. And I guess we don't see any service uh, points from either team, so I guess it's a good job for both of these teams in the reception. Okay, let's look at the UAP softball uh, competition uh, at the uh, UAP softball field. The awardees uh, for uh, this season, Luz Viminda Embudo from Adamson University. Most valuable player, most home run, most RBIs, best hitter, best slugger. Boy, she racked up everything. Wow. Uh, Julie Muiko from also from Adams and the best pitcher. That's Lucy Minda, by the way, on your screens that's earlier. Right, that's right. And uh, Sarah Stewart from DLSU is the Rookie of the Year. Uh, Adamson uh, uh, won in uh, team ranking. Pinakutang awards ni Lucy Minda and of Adams. Congratulations. Yep. And speaking of other sports, as we speak, uh, Ateneo and FU Start are uh, playing two, we are at the Ateneo football field. Sir. Kanina, eh, mukha ko na update, eh, nakadrop, eh, one and one. Wow. So that was before we started this game. <laughs> good block. Yeah. Block Single block Carmela from Lopez. Mena Lopez. On the best closer oh, of the game. That's right, Isa Maizo. And that's her spot. That's, that's her favorite hit. That back set with the left hand. Just natural for Isa Maizo. But Mena Lopez read it pretty well. And this girl, Joyce Pala, doing a good yeah. job so far for UP. Tama, tama. Wala pa naman si Aileen Quejas. Ganda nung serve. Back set. Ortiz oh, puts that away. That's a good runner for Maika Ortiz. Ortiz was very quiet in set number one. She has to put in the points right now. Get those numbers on the board. And she serves now. Here we go. The service reception errors from UP. Alam mo, hindi to mayo sa bench si Coach Shaq kanina during the palitan, yeah, the yeah, turnover. Yeah, yeah. Except turnover. Medyo napikon yata. And now you open up a door for UP. And that's a huge one, you know. The confidence that they got after winning set number one. Alright, Samaizo. Let's see if they put it to good place. Coach Shaq continues. Yeah, yeah. Rinig na rinig sa yeah. buong arena yung instructions. Correct. Coach Shaq. Oh, Henido. And check in with uh, Ricky Flores after that uh, UP set number one. Go ahead, Ricky. Boom, if there's one thing that the coaches of UP are really happy about, it's that they're communicating on the court. I'm talking about these uh, Lady Maroons. Especially, they said, their setters and their spikers. They've been working on the quality of both sets oh, and spikes right. during practice. And speaking of UP's practice, they've been playing more games than doing drills. Something the coaches think is light and helps the communication of the team. Boom and Ian. Thank you very much, Ricky. What's the difference, Ian? Let's talk about the difference. Point me, uh, Ricky, no? I'm sorry. Instead of you know uh, practices, yeah, they play more games. What what do you take out of that? Wow. As a player, as a former player. Well, it really depends on your lineup. If you've got, there's gonna, 
the time is gonna come that you want to play more games, mm-hmm. but the time will also come that you want less practice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's really the maturity of the squad, how they gel together, but that's the call of the coaches, basically, and okay. uh, which fits the program best, that's, uh, that's what they should use, but for, for UP and for uh, this young squad, nako, kailangan, they have to get more experience more playing time together and I guess oh, also in their case parang sila with what, what's working or yeah. what should what can work what can change a second with Jessica tell us what happened during that time well boom first because you mentioned earlier that Isa Maiza is one of the best receivers in the league I checked the ranks and she actually is at number one prior to this game with a 42% reception efficiency now to the bad news uh in the last huddle, Coach Shaq left most of the talking to his assistants, who told the girls again to pick up their game at wag, sabay, wag silang sabayan, talking about letting UP set the pace. Coach Shaq spoke only once, right before the set, which, as you guys said, was heard throughout the court. Ayusin nyo lang laro nyo, yun lang yun. Boom and Ian. Frustration of Coach Shaq. Very evident and very... Well, very much heard throughout the arena. That's right. And it continues to, to pile up because... Right now, UP still yes. fighting toe-to-toe with That's them. That's right, and you're right. Fighting is the word, Boom, because you can see the UP players diving on the floor. Look at Southin Lamo going for that second touch. Still diving. El Mundo, quick back set. Now, and see, UP, points to Araneta, yes. UP's playing a lot yeah. and crisper. That's yeah. the term. Exacto, eh, diba? Tsaka may energy. May energy. Look at that back set for Southin Ramos, then moving to the opposite side to Araneta. And uh, Del Mundo Serves feeling it right now, giving out those excellent sets for her attackers. Very confident UP team as we speak. UST playing below their level. Let's admit it because that's, that's what it is right now. Caballejo goes down the line. Right. Good call for Caballejo, bringing it down the line with a smaller blocker, Del Mundo, in front of her. 7-2 team. Going up against a 1-8 team in team standings. Let me correct myself. The U- FU Ateneo game, football game, is already done at 1-1 one one for those also following the different UAP sports. Right now, it is UP and UST playing in the football tournament of the UAP. Here in this game, UST with a slim one-point advantage in the second set and down a set. Marami tayong mga manunod. Ian, yeah. Love the UAP so much. That's it's right. not just about one sport. Oh, valuable lang. They love, you know, just school spirit. That's right. Correct, correct. Okay, sit for Paul Hinido. First technical timeout. An error there by Hinido. Gets UST to the technical timeout first. Here at the arena in San Juan alongside uh, Doc Ian Laurel. I'm Boone Gonzalez for the game between UP and UST. UP with a one set edge, but UST here ahead eight to six. And you still hanging on. <laughs> the uh, team, the supporters are still here watching the games. You gotta be happy for them on your rejuvenated program, school in yeah. general. With uh, Coach Janelle as right, my head, head sports uh, athletic director. That's right. And Bobby Parks, the assistant. That's right. For the volleyball, the team manager. Boy, for USA. That's right. Two hits. Again, the uh, reception error. So, lumaki na. Lamang dito ng uh, UST 9 to 6. Boy, I think every single joint of Isa Miser. <laughs> so, tape on her. Too long. Bad back. The shoulders are taped. God knows what else she's uh, suffering from, but there that she Ooh. is. It's a service error. She's gutting it out. Service error for Isa. Alamo, that's also a skill for individual players. How to play at a certain pace at sure. certain yeah. times. You know, again, thinking of the big picture, thinking of not spending so much, but you still have enough for the final four, or healing while playing. Yeah. While you're playing, you're trying to heal because that's obviously the tougher uh, alternative that's between right. just sitting down and resting. That's right. Of not being able to help you heal. 
Well, if what we're stopping uh, from uh, doing our side, if we had these states, they would have states on our heads. <laughs> <laughs> alam mo, Ian, pag sinabi mong our time, eh, <laughs> ano yun na natin? Qualify na natin. Mga five years ago lang. <laughs> Sobrang ano lang, reset lang yun. Balita ko, puti pa yung bola doon. Eh. Hindi mo five years ago yun. <laughs> <laughs> Binubuko mo. <laughs> oh, nice save. Nice save there. The joust. You see, all the girls are in front. Nobody right. in the back zones. Araneta. Keeping it alive. Good right. coverage. Raimundo sends it to the middle. Ortiz. Chance. Backpedaling. Caballejo loads up. And too Dude, much. Caballejo. Caballejo who usually goes really cross court. That's right. And now USD pulling away. Getting their set place uh, in, uh, in offense done. And yung problema na naman ng UP, their defense, especially their floor defense, creeping up on them. Worst receiving, Again. worst digging team in the league. Actually, which also follows, they're also the worst setting team yeah. in the league because of course, the reception uh, is uh, suspect. Hirotsui, the rookie. 13 serving, 7. Mundo for coverage. Araneta. Goes out. Check ball. Araneta. Point for UP. Araneta getting one against the block. 